Commuting has become a way of life for Americans. However, so has communicating. And what exactly happens when these two collide? Now, could these two activities possibly be juggled at the same time? And do people know the dangers of what could really happen? Be on special assignment. Got civilian riders on board. Red for 1139. So, a lot of accidents that have occurred uh, have been. Uh, during distractions, uh, one of the distractions is um, cell phones. A lot of people rely heavily on their cell phones. Uh, they uh, text messaging, emails, uh, their PDAs, everything done. Everything is done now through their cell phones. So a lot of times people will drive and uh, get phone calls. They get instant messages. They'll get their emails. Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you text and drive? Yeah, sometimes. I try not to, but if I get a text, then I'm going to answer it while I'm driving. you currently text and drive? Yes, I do. Because I'm pretty cautious with it. I'm not dumb with it. I know where I can text and when I can't. Yeah. My name is Allison. I'm 17, and I've been driving for a year. Do you currently text and drive? Yes, I currently text and drive. Do you know others who text and drive? Yes, everybody I know texts and drives. You know, the fact that by being on the cell phone, whether we're talking on the phone or texting, we can create a serious accident and not only injure ourselves, but someone else. When people are talking on the cell phone or texting while they're driving uh, has caused some serious accidents, in some case fatalities. Yes, I've, I've, we've come across a lot of accidents and one of the contributing factors, is, and some of these people will admit to it, uh, they'll say, I was on my cell phone, I wasn't paying attention. Looking at all the accidents that happen from texting and driving, that's like a wake-up call to a lot of people, but a lot of people just don't get the message and they do it anyways. A wreck? Someone dying because of a wreck? No, that could be someone other than you, right? Mm-hmm. Yet you still do it. Because I'm doing it cautiously. Embrace the technology is a new tool that we can treasure we can enjoy but know the limitations we should not use a cell phone while we're driving and we should not be texting we want to take a risk in texting and driving and then suffer the consequences later if an accident occurs because of, of you being on your cell phone so uh, my best advice to anybody out there is to uh, pull over it only takes a couple of minutes to text somebody and do it safely pull over text and then once you texting is done it's, then you can get back on the road or you can simply just wait and, and until you get to a location where you actually park and then you have all the time that you need to text somebody but doing it while driving is, is very dangerous Do you think if there was a, any law against texting and driving, would that uh, give you more of an initiative to stop texting and driving? I think definitely that there would be a lot less people texting and driving, but just because it's a law doesn't mean everyone's going to stop. There's still going to be some people that try to sneak it, but that would definitely lower the rate. Not texting? No. Why not? Because I don't think there should be a law against it. Like I said, it's the same thing as changing a radio, looking at a billboard, or changing a CD. It's very serious, and you know, the danger is you can seriously hurt uh, yourself, or you can seriously hurt someone else.